This is the umpteenth Corsair boat that I've owned. I bought it specifically as a day sailor and, sh and shorthanded racer, and it's a perfect boat for that. I really like it. Um, uh, Corsair's Sprint 750 called Truckin'. I'd like to uh, hoist the spinnaker and sail downwind for a bit and uh, just see if everything looks okay there. Well, the 750 um, is a new design this year. It's the same hull shape as the 24. Same cross beams, same floats. It's got a new deck mold, and the new, new deck mold incorporates a full bow sprint without the whisker stays that the Mark II had, or the uh, Mark I for that matter. 750 has the highest power to rate ratio of any of the Corsair boats uh, because it has more sail area and it's lighter weight. The mast on this boat is roughly three feet taller than a Mark II and uh, it's roughly three to 400 pounds lighter weight. So the combination of more sail array and lighter weight just gives it a lot more power. Okay, one, two, three, there we go. I got the fine tune if you want to get the trimaran. Um, it's the most affordable of the Corsair trimarans. It's also the lightest, so it's uh, a lot easier to set up and to trailer, to go from trailering to sailing mode, you know, raise the mast and all that. Well, to me, the biggest question is the fun of sailing. Do you want to have fun sailing or do you want to sail a house? The thing is, it's just really lively to sail. To me, I've sailed all the Corsairs, it's the most fun. Well, my impression of the, uh, of the various different Corsair boats, for the last bunch of years, I've sailed a 31. And the 31, I've enjoyed a lot because it's more powered up than the 24 Mark II, than the 27 or 28, and it just feels light and lively. This boat has much more of that same feel. It's lighter and livelier than uh, the Mark II for sure, and even more so than the 28, which uh, I spent quite a bit of time sailing at Key West Race Week and a few other events. Probably the most common comment I get when I take people out for a test sail from the women is how much they appreciate the fact that the boat doesn't heel over a lot and they feel a lot more secure moving around on the boat that it's not going to suddenly you know tip over on them. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a person of uh, over 50 myself and I feel I'm still I'm just learning how to get the most performance out of these boats and we have a lot of people uh, in their 60s and 70s that own them. I have, have had people that have been overweight when they bought the boat and they've told me that it's changed their life and that they've gone on a diet, exercised and it's opened up a whole new avenue to them of physical activity that they thought they were past. Little kids love the boats because of the nets, I think is the big thing. They love to sit on the nets and watch the water going underneath. Probably uh, spinnaker douses are a good thing to practice too. <laughs> okay, we ready to douse? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, bring her in. Foot first. Uh, draft is, is more as well. Uh, the Mark II, I believe, is four foot eleven. I think this is five foot five. And at five foot five, uh, we're almost the same depth as a thirty-one. So upwind, we should be uh, going real well. designed as a uh, great fun day sailor and the sportiest boat of the bunch for the racing guys. And I would 
really hope we see a lot of guys getting into this uh, class as a one design racer because it certainly has the ability to be the um, most fun two or three man race boat in the Corsair line. The biggest appeal of this boat for uh, family sailing is the size of the cockpit. There are a lot of people who get nervous about getting out of the cockpit, coming out on the nets or out on the floats. And the size of the cockpit, you could easily have half a dozen people there and not, not feel cramped. Stretch out with a nice pillow here and a cockpit cushion and uh, actually take a nap. And as a day sailor, you really don't need a lot of uh, cabin space. And this is obviously the smallest cabin of any of the Corsair boats. Yet it does have the ability for uh, a porta potty and a, uh, a nice size double bunk down below. And so when we go sailing, we want to have fun and uh, have sailing performance. The other thing about the Corsair is, is the you know, ability to go into very shallow water. So for instance, right now, we could just pull up over here to this beach, lift up the daggerboard and the rudder, and take the boat right up on the beach and step off on the sand and you know, go have a picnic or something. OK, well, right now, we're, we're seeing this. The wind's coming in here about maybe 10 knots, maybe 12. We've, we're heeled over to a maximum of maybe 5 to 10 degrees. Very comfortable. And, uh, you know, we're not getting splashed. Kind of relaxed here on the net. I really like it. The um, reason I like it is because it is so simple. Um, and I've owned everything from 27, 28, uh, up to a 36. I own the original 36 and another hull after that. This is a boat that I can take out by myself or one other person with no problem. It's a great boat.